It's good to see Peter Robinson coming out and saying at long last what we've been saying for quite a while. Stormont is not fit for purpose. It is not working, it cannot work and it will not work. Here's the latest idea that's being floated. Now, you'll not believe this probably, but then we told you a number of things 12 years, 14 years ago and you just wouldn't believe us and they all came to pass. They're talking about Hampton Power back to Westminster. Westminster will bring in the welfare bill and then they're going to hand power back to Stormont. So in other words, uh, Stormont's not working, let's give power back to Westminster. They put the welfare bill in and then they give it back. So everybody seemed to be uh, lily white. They all took their stand when in fact nobody took a stand. Now but here's the, here's the problem. Think about this. Sinn Féin, nothing can be done without their agreement. So they can close Westminster, or sorry, close Stormont down and hand it back to Westminster, but they can only do that if the Shinners agree to that. Now the Shinners are saying that they will only agree along the lines of something to that. Now I'm not saying that's exactly how it's going to work, but it's something along that lines. Now this is coming from within the political parties, people who know what they're talking about. Sinn Féin want the maze back on the agenda. Now, people say, what's, what's the maze got to do with it? That's how important the maze is to the IRA. They want the maze back on the agenda. So the only way they'll agree to this power being handed back to Westminster for a period of time and then introduce the welfare bill and then hand it back, nobody's to blame for it happening. But only, only, if the maze is agreed upon. And also, now I can't confirm this, but also the OTRs, that's all wiped, all gone. There's no more going after these uh, killers of our loved ones. The past is going to be forgot about as far as hunting down the people who murdered the innocent victims. But they still want the UDR, the RUC, the British Army, and the loyalist paramilitaries held to account. Now, you couldn't write the script for that. We have the chief constable coming out saying that he can't police the past. Listen, folks, this is all being choreographed. It is all being choreographed. And you mark my words. The inquest been announced, or they think they're going to get an inquest into La Gaulle. Just think about that for a minute. These were eight Mordern tramps who were on the way to kill more individuals and the army done a very good job at long last somebody took the leash off and allowed the sas to take them out now they're going to have an inquest into it well when if they do go ahead with the inquest the one thing i'd like to know all the weapons that they were carrying what about all the murders they were involved in is the families that they were used on are they going to get an inquest but that's how rotten this scheme is. And people use my laugh, and a lot of these will laugh, and say, no way will this happen. Well, remember, there's no way the RUC was going to go. There's no way prisoners were going to get out. There's no way an amnesty was going to give to certain members of the IRA. Royal pardons had handed out. There's nothing they will not do to keep this so-called agreement on board. They'll do everything except look after the people who have been loyal to them. And that is mostly the Protestant Unionist Loyalist community. And indeed a number of nationalist people as well. But you mark my words folks. That's what's on the table. And our politicians go and talk to them. Ask them and warn them. That this cannot be allowed to happen. No more blackmail. They're doing more harm to the economy of Northern Ireland now. Than they could ever do with the bomb and the gun. And these people remember are out to destroy Northern Ireland. They have made that clear. They do not want a Northern Ireland. They want a United Ireland. So what's the first thing you have to do? Is to make the government unworkable. And the country unfit to be governed. And that's exactly what Sinn Féin IRA is doing. 